here is the condenser unit. That's pretty much in its final position on the concrete pad here. I just pushed it back a bit so they could get the line set in. And that's pretty much secured all the way up, going into the building. Uh, put the service disconnect in. The old one didn't have that. This is uh, required by modern codes. Let's see, uh, it connects in over here. Let's go look on the inside. Here's the line set coming in on the inside. Uh, I redirected it over uh, to the right side of the ear handler this time because it's a little bit more elegant connecting into their connections here as opposed to having to go across. And the uh, blower is joined onto the coil two ways. There's these uh, little J strips that go on and uh, screw on and also there's some plates on the outside so it's actually pretty secure. Here's how we're adapting the duct. Uh, the back end just screws straight on. The sides are going to have some adapter panels. Uh, yeah, the one's going to go up here and across and some others on the outside. And I'm not too worried about the duct size difference because the actual uh, exhaust from the fan up here is much smaller than the original duct. So having, these, having this cut off here shouldn't be a problem. I'm working on the adapter to adapt the two, uh, the discharge to the existing ducting. Just made this uh, template. So we'll just go in here. It's a pretty decent adaptation. Let's go cut this out of metal. Here's the setup to bend the uh, sheet metal. Don't have a proper press brake, so a couple pieces of metal and some clamps are going to have to do. And here's the piece in the final place. I think it fits pretty well. Both edge pieces are now on. And I've got the uh, last piece. This fits and uh, comes up la the uh, last bit. So let's put that in. All the adapter pieces are installed now. And I just couldn't resist wiring this up and giving the uh, blower a test run. Got a setup to run at 1200 CFM, which is on uh, high stage cooling, so let's give that a shot. Starts out slowly and then wraps up. I think that's fan only mode speed right now. It's going to ramp up to uh, second stage cooling speed in about 20 30 seconds. Let's do the uh, refrigeration lines next. First thing we have to do here is remove this nut, which will release the nitrogen gas, tracer gas inside. So you want to keep it in there? Uh, well, it'll just return to atmospheric pressure. Okay, let's do that. Just only about half a turn or so. Let's go slowly. There we go, let's see. We should just keep going slowly. No, as far as I can go. There we go. Now it's going up. Get that vent. And we cut off this tube and add the uh get a plug for it. Since I've never braised uh, with an oxy torch like this before, I'm gonna do a practice. A few practice runs here.
here's the final braise there. Doesn't look too horrible. I'll move you around here. Okay, I've sectioned that joint now. I actually did two. Let's have a look at the uh, joint and how it flowed in. It actually does look like the brazing material flowed all the way in into the joint on both of them. Yeah, so that looks pretty good. The outside doesn't look too bad. Yeah, let's give it a go.